In today's video, where does the fat go when we lose body fat? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to have a nice discussion on what actually happens when we lose body fat. What is the change that's going on? And the question came from my Instagram direct message. And when I got it, I thought, wow, that's a really cool question. We don't actually think about this, but I have thought about it in the past. And in fact, it's probably one of those questions that I asked myself so long ago that I kind of just forgot about it. I had to look some stuff up and kind of get reminded about the process that we actually go through when we get leaner. So I want to talk about a few things. A little bit of sciencey stuff from the exercise physiology perspective, a little bit of the, the stuff that happens with like our skin changing and these kind of things, and a little bit about the dynamics of a fat cell itself. But let's start by putting the question on the screen. So here you can see the question I got from my Instagram direct message. So as always, guys, you can send me these great questions and I really appreciate getting them from you because it allows me some insight into what's going on with you guys. And uh, I'm excited to help you guys out. So let's talk about that. So the first thing to understand about losing fat cells is that we actually have to lose body fat. And when we think about losing body fat, you might think to yourself, well, it's got to go somewhere. But let's start with the first chapter of an exercise physiology book. And it was a surprise to me when I took that class because the first page and the first chapter talks about the laws of thermodynamics. And I thought, wow, I'm studying exercise science. What does that have to do with thermodynamics? But for those that aren't familiar with thermodynamics, the first law states that energy can't really be created or destroyed, okay? It just kind of changes form, okay? So if that's the case, then where is our body fat going when we lose it? Is it just changing form? Actually, it is. So let's talk a little bit about that. So what is a fat cell? The fat cells in our body actually contain something called triglycerides. Now, I'm not gonna talk about all the chemical processes that can happen to create a situation where the fat cell will release the triglyceride, okay? Because it has to get through that membrane, and once it gets into the membrane and into the bloodstream, a lot can happen to it, including reuptake. Re so the fat cell can actually take the body fat right back, okay? The fat can take the triglycerides right back in it. But if that fat cell loses those triglycerides, what happens to them? Well, they're gonna get used up, but for that to happen, we have to be in a caloric deficit. And you know, you hear this all the time about, you know, that doesn't matter. Creating caloric deficit doesn't matter, or uh, energy in, energy out doesn't matter, caloric balance doesn't matter. But for us to actually lose body fat, we do need to be in a caloric deficit where we are burning more calories than we're taking in. Now, that can be a very complicated discussion. For fat loss to happen, you need to be in a caloric deficit. I think that goes without saying. Okay, so now you're in a caloric deficit. You're losing the triglycerides out of the fat cell. They're going into the bloodstream. They're getting used in a process for exercise, for heart beating, for any of these things by the liver. And what happens? How do we get rid of it? Where does it actually go? Well, it's actually quite simple. You actually lose it in the form of perspiration, urination, or carbon dioxide when you're breathing. So a lot of times I notice I wake up looking a lot leaner and losing weight overnight. And a lot of that has to do with us just inhaling and exhaling all night. You're losing carbon, di carbon dioxide all night while you sleep. Uh, I think this is a common thing when we're competitors and we get really lean, we notice, wow, we look really tight in the morning. You know, I think some of that has to do with recovery, laying flat all night, but also the fact that we've essentially just been dehydrating over the night and that carbon dioxide has been leaving the body. So that's it. Our bodies are designed to exhale and get rid of this energy in the form of vapor or water. And that is how it is not created or destroyed. It is just transferred. We're just taking a triglyceride. It's breaking down and exiting the body in a form of fluid, carbon dioxide, perspiration, or urination. So that brings up the question, if we have a fat cell that gets smaller, what happens when they all get smaller to our skin? And this is a common one. And what happens for someone that loses a moderate amount of weight? I typically go through 20 to 30 pounds of weight loss when I'm getting ready for a competition. And what happens to my skin? It shrinks. Yeah, our, our skin has collagen in it and it allows it to expand and contract, expand and contract. And 
There will be some periods of time in our life, such as for me, puberty, where I actually got a lot of stretch marks. So I have stretch marks in my, um, in my, in my legs and in my chest and in my armpits where I kind of grew in puberty faster. And I remember when I started lifting weights, I started getting some stretch marks as well. So if your skin expands or contracts very quickly, well, it won't snap back. The same thing happens if we get really, really overweight. The skin will expand to match that and it may have some elasticity, but it might not come back all the way down with you. And so I see quite commonly people will have to get skin surgery if you give yourself an amount of time and you don't notice that the skin is tightening back up. That might have to be an option for you. Okay, so you've always heard this. We don't actually add or lose fat cells. Well, that's true. So what's actually happening is the fat cells shrink. Now, there has been some research that shows that it's possible to add new fat cells. Okay, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to talk about the fact that these fat cells that we've lost the triglycerides from, if and when there is a caloric surplus, just know that those fat cells are very happy to get those triglycerides back. And actually getting those triglycerides back for us that diet down and lose weight, we start to understand that the fat cells are responsible for leptin. And so leptin levels increase and our hunger drops because our fat cells are happy again. So the fat cells, although we think of them as like this evil thing, like, oh my God, my fat cells, I just want to get rid of them. They actually provide a lot of value. So, you know, I've mentioned it before, but I kind of think you think of them as an organ because they communicate with the brain and there's a lot going on there. They're very dynamic. It's not just a bad thing. Fat cells in our fitness culture can get demonized, but having the right amount is a good thing and having them in a happy place is the good thing. So that's it. That answers the question. When we lose fat, where does it go? We sweat it out, we urinate it out, or we breathe it out in the form of carbon dioxide. All right, guys, have a great day. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. And if you're in Vancouver this weekend, I'll be at the Vancouver Pro Show. So say hello, my Canadian friends. Talk to you soon.